Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for Virgo. So this wanted to come out. We have the hanged man, which is Pisces energy. What about the hanged man? The emperor. So there's a, a masculine energy here who is maybe wanting to give something up for love or they're gaining some type of new perspective. We have Aries. We have Pisces. Tell me more. We have strength. Uh-oh. You, you, somebody, there's been a kind of like a shift here or something like this. This masculine energy that's coming through, we have, and we have, look at these three major arcanas here too, big changes. But it's like this masculine has had a shift in perspective and they're like going to be overcoming some type of obstacle here. I feel like this person has been trying to maybe work up the courage to do something or for some of you, they've been trying to suppress their emotions. Tell me much, tell me more. See the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody is wanting something stable with you, wanting to offer you a union, like a steady, committed union. Clarify the hanged man. Wow, we have the six of swords. Yeah, somebody's moving, letting something go, or they're moving away from something. They're ready to move on from something. Move into calmer waters. Tell me about Emperor. Or maybe this is you guys. This could be you guys gaining a new perspective and realizing that you're ready to move on. You're ready to move into calmer waters. Tell me about this Emperor. They're having a tower moment. Maybe this person's realizing that you are moving on. So that's what, why the energy has shifted. This person all of a sudden has had this tower moment. There's some type of tower moment is like, let's see, what's strength? Scorpio energy? Mirroring. A mirage calling for you to go within. Hmm. So you guys can maybe be overcoming some type of obstacle and like your person is also also overcoming an obstacle or they will be. The, it's, it's like you're you're overcoming something is triggering this person to overcome something. This could be your twin. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. Cold as ice. Mm. So is there somebody here that does desire a steady union with you, but they've been be being very inconsiderate and sending you mixed signals you would never maybe know? That this person, they're, somebody's acting very cold, but we have manifesting you. Somebody sees something long-term with you. And they actually have a lot of feelings for you that they are, are aware of. What does this hanged man and the six of swords mean for my collective? What does that mean for my collective? Six of swords and the hanged man means specifically for my collective. Hit hiding feelings. Hmm, tell me more. Six of Pentacles. What is hiding feelings? Nine of Cups. What? So what's this mean for my collective? The Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, you guys are focusing on yourselves, freedom and independence. You're in this very single and self-sufficient type energy. What about that? The Star. Things are about to start improving for you. Yeah, there's like, there's hope and optimism in the energy here. The worst is over. Three of Pentacles. What about Three of Pentacles? Queen of Cups. What does that do with my collective? Eight of Pentacles. Working on what? Somebody is maybe boundaries. Somebody wants to put in the work with you or something, but it's like somebody's been hiding their feelings and emotions from you. Somebody that has a fear of vulnerability, somebody that has insecure issues with insecurities, that sees you as a wish come true. Interesting. Tell me about this mirroring aspect. Sexual encounter. What about sexual encounter and mirroring? Divinely guided. What? What is this? What's that do with my collective? Three of swords. The fool. The magician. This per they're getting cleared. There's a breakthrough here. And you and you, it's it's been a long time coming for this person to have this awakening. What is sex? It's like, what is sexual encounter though? What is sexual encounter? Yeah, this is what I saw in the back of the deck: seven of pentacles. This person maybe made it seem like they just wanted sex from you, but they actually are thinking long term. What is up with this person? Why why was there such an urgency? What is this tower? Let's let's focus on that. There's a masculine energy who's having a tower moment. Things are getting better for you. All right. Um, what is the tower for this masculine energy? 
the seven of wands, some type of boundary you put. Or like, I didn't, yeah, fight it. What, tell me more about the seven of wands, what that means for this. Okay, that's way too many. What is the seven of wands, the tower, the emperor? What is that? Cards are being weird. Rejection and the fool. What about the fool? Aquarius energy. Ten of pentacles. What's the name for my collective? King of swords. Someone's getting clarity that they want to like have long term with you but it's like possibly after you rejected this person or it's like you're gonna end up rejecting this person and this is gonna be a tower moment for this person and then they're going to want to take a leap of faith on this connection explore the possibility like take a leap of faith go into the unknown with you and want to have something more stable they're it's like gonna it's that's the tower the tower is your rejection this this rejection energy has been coming through in the readings for the past week like there's people getting rejected and it's like, yeah, some of you guys are just ghosting this person, not showing them any emotion. Why is this person getting rejected by my collective or will be getting rejected? Ace of, see, there's that Ace of Swords. Oh, because some type of deception came out. Infidelity, spying, deception, lies. Yep. You guys found out about they, they were doing something, keeping something. Yes, look at this. The King of Wands could be a fire sign, an Aries Leo, or a Sag, but this person wanted their cake and eat it too, or something like that. They wanted it all. They wanted you and everybody else too, or something like that. The High Priestess. Yeah, you guys could feel this. Your intuition was telling you that this person had destructive habits. They were toxic. The devil, Capricorn energy. Yeah, there's a cycle coming to an end though, or things, a cycle did come to an end between you and this person. And it was really heartbreaking. They possibly put you in a third party situation. But yeah, you found out about this person cheating on you or deceiving you in some way. Tell me more. The taming hunger. Yeah, this person is a player. But it says taming a player trying to resist temptation. Ew, this like this person was maybe trying to resist the temptation, but I feel like they fell into temptation. Or this person is a player, but oh, so they're now they're not wanting to be a player no more. Yeah, divine intervention, no more running. What a catch, because they feel like they found their wish fulfillment in you wanting to conquer fear of losing you because mm. you've really disconnected from this person tell me about it's time the hierophant yep somebody wants a commitment with you now wow the two of cups the hierophant and the two of cups yeah now they want a relationship now they want a commitment now they're thinking marriage but mm. Why is forbidden in the Eight of Cups here? Awakening. They maybe thought that like you guys were too different to make this work, or there were maybe people around them that didn't approve. Like they feel like you're for, you were being with you is forbidden for whatever reason. So they could have tried to walk away from you, but now they're having this awakening. Why did they walk away for? Or what? Who walked away? What is this walking away energy? Money focused. Yeah, they could have chose money over love. Or you chose to focus on your money over love. Money affecting your love life. What's that mean for this emperor, this masculine, the ace of cups? What's this mean? Money focusing for my collective. The knight of cups. What is the money focus though? What is that? Queen of swords. Oh. What about queen of swords? Tuna of wands. What's this mean for my collective? Yeah, I feel like you guys separated yourself from this person. What does that mean for the, the this masculine? Yeah, they're telling you. They're feeling drawn to you. Yeah, I'm telling you, you guys are in this nine. I'm having deja vu right now, guys. Yeah, that's even more confirmation. I've seen this before. I've seen this spread before. I've seen this relay. Like, I'm telling you everything. This whole scene I've seen before. So yeah, that's confirmation. It's like the more independent and focus on your money and like not focus on them that you get, the more this person feels drawn to you. Like, it's like the further you get away from them and the more you're more successful, 10, 10 on the camera as I'm saying this guys, like how crazy. Yeah, it's like you guys are like finding balance within your lives and within yourselves. And it's like the more you come into balance within you and you heal and you're like withdraw from this person, the more they feel like heartbroken, yeah, and it's like, I feel like they feel more and more drawn to you. Yeah, like they're very mad. Yeah, three of swords. And I just say they're heartbroken. They broke your heart, though. They put you in a third party situation. What's the name for this person? Queen of Cups and Three of Swords. Yeah, they're trying to manifest you. Moving into alignment. They're because they feel drawn to you. 
discontent. Yeah, they're not happy with. They feel like they either po may possibly miss an opportunity with you, or they're ha discontent with their current situation. The lovers. What about the the dark night of the soul? What's this mean for my collective? Unawakened. Yeah, they're not there yet. They they or they didn't totally understand their feeling. What about in the present moment? Mm, they're still going through some type of conflict or something. Tell me about the five of wands. What's the five of wands for the per the present? Eight of Pentacles. They're working on trying to resolve some type of conflict. Or they want to work on this. They're maybe going to return to you to try to squash some type of beef with you and want to work on things with you. Yeah, I'm telling you, they see you as wish fulfillment. Or if some of you guys have been wishing for this to happen, I do see it happening. But, uh... <laughs> Yeah, this could be somebody that's walking away from their options because they, they're very clear about how they feel, feel about you, that you are their Ten of Cups. Happy union, family, harmony, satisfaction. Yeah, kind of happens, happening suddenly. Yeah, it could be an earth sign coming towards you, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but this is somebody that's walking away from like options or a choice. They're making a choice and they're walking away from something, but they're very feeling vulnerable. They're feeling like they know exactly how they feel about you. And this could maybe be resulting in some type of, if they were in another situation, of course, there's like conflict over in that other situation because they're choosing to walk away from something here. Hmm. Let's get more clarity about what's happening. I'm going to wait on those. Let's do these. Hold up. Hold on. Dropping the whole dang deck. So we, I told, <laughs> so that, I, what I'm feeling, that chaotic energy, they're going through it with somebody right now. Disagreements, fighting, arguments, not on the same page. What does this have to do with my collective, though? Because I see you guys are kind of focusing on yourself. So what does this have to do with my collective? Oh, spiritual lessons. Difference in spiritual beliefs, religious traditions. What is the battlefield, though? What does that have to do with anything? The clock is slow. You and this person are having a hard time getting on the same page because you guys have different beliefs or, you know, religions or something like that. Or the timing isn't right. Or it's just that you are at, like, you and this person can, can't agree. I don't understand still. What does this mean for my collective? What, what is the energy of the... Yeah, there's somebody else involved. I just saw, saw outside influences. I feel like with it flipping back over, that's like, that's coming to an end. They're fighting with somebody over you. They feel rejected by you. Like, or they're going to, or they just don't feel like things are over. They feel like things ended very abruptly between the two of you. They feel like you ghosted them. Yeah, they feel like they, yeah, they feel like you're one of a kind. They feel like you're hard to find. You're irreplaceable. So what does this have to do with this other situation with the conflict? <laughs> this person's used to, to toxicity. It could be within their home. They're having conflict within their home. Mm -mm, what about it? So I feel like you and this person have been having issues because this person is literally used to toxicity and conflict and arguments all the time. Like, they're not used to peace. And I feel like with you, they do feel that. But it's, like, foreign to them. But, yeah, battle wounds. Look at that. We have the battlefield and battle wounds. An ongoing battle, weary, or guarded, hurt, and past relationships. What does that mean for this person? Use your head. Yeah, they need to use their head. Give it some thought. Think logically and rationally. Don't let emotions control you. Maybe this person is, like, hasn't been in their heart space because they were like, because of some type of toxic relationship that they are in or, or were in before. And now they're like more, they think more head over heart and they're not very much in their heart space. So what's this have to do with my collective? The moon. 
there's information yet to be revealed. Things are not, yeah, this person's hiding their feelings and emotions to you. They're more like in their logic, like they're in their head. They're not in their heart space, but they do have feelings. The moon is also like to me emotion. So it's like, what is, what is yet to be revealed to my collective? Yeah, they're going to give you some type of recognition or there is some type of positive outcome that's manifesting in this situation with you and this person. Yeah, then I just, I think I just saw the unexpected. Someone's watching you. This person's learning how to love, how to love in a healthy way because they're used to toxic, toxicity. I think that this person is used to, they think that like, if somebody is arguing with you, them and fighting with them and doing all that toxic shit, then that's like, then they care. But that's not the case. I feel like you guys have gone cold on this person. They feel, and you've stopped arguing with them and they feel rejected by you. What about the study room? The tea. See, this person's trying to get information on you. They can't even, even be talking about you to somebody. What about it? Wait, yeah, like they're just watching and yeah, trying to gather, just spying on you. When they could be reaching out to you and getting this, yeah, they're they're prolonging the inevitable. It says not worth waiting for, wasting time. Nothing good will come of it. They're wasting time. So what does this mean for my collective? A loyal companion. So yeah, you, you're being protected. Yeah, you're being protected. What is sleepless nights? Truth. Yeah, this person, you were loyal and devoted to this person. And I feel like they were keeping things from you. And they were, they pushed you to your breaking point. You were always worried. You were losing sleep over this situation. And then I feel like you got some type of truth or clarity. See, we do have twin flame on the back of the deck. So this is probably your twin. Yes, they are your twin flame, yin and yang, life forever changed. What is the all seeing eye? Truth, clarity, perspective, deep wisdom. Yeah, you started reading between the lines. Be wise and pay attention. You can see the truth clearly. The hand of fate, faded events, faded relationship forces beyond your control. What is this clarity? Un yeah, unhealthy. It's that maybe somebody wasn't good for you, or that this person was that they were they weren't good. Yeah, careful who and what that you shouldn't give your this person access to you anymore. That you were better off single. That this person was bad for your well being. Yeah, and then what? Then what? Okay, that's okay. Yeah, I saw this when I was shuffling the unexpected. So it's like you choose to do, like you guys have this awareness that you and this person were fated to meet each other, but you know that you can't control this person. You can't force them to make the right decisions towards you or by you. So I feel like you guys decided to, you saw the truth of the situation. You started, you're like, you know what? I need to make better, have, you know, better choices for myself. I'm sick of fighting with this person. I'm sick of this battle. This is, I've, I'm traumatized from this time like i don't know let's see what did they do when they had this realization as far as unhealthy choices yeah it's like you know that this is your person for some of you but it's like yeah you, you want something mutually beneficial you want something fair so what did they do yeah it's like you're starting to what is this you're not placing too much attention on this anymore what are they how are they handling this person Heavy burden. Yeah, that's how you see them. Clinging to an unhealthy relationship. So yeah, the world on the back of the deck. You you close this cycle out. It, I feel like this was a difficult lesson. That, that you've learned difficult lessons dealing with this person. All right, but that's, there's a cycle coming to an end here. This this being a situation ship. Always trying to figure out what the hell is going on with this person. Because it's hard to figure out. Tricky situation. Situation ship. But maybe now you're making room for a perfect match to come in because we have great chemistry, highly compatible, quick connection. I feel like at least with the person that this, per the, the way this person has been, you guys have not been compatible. All right. But it's like something unexpected is happening here. It says surprises, expect the unexpected, shocking revelations. And it says unlocking mysteries, access to new experiences. What was closed before is now open. So what does that mean for this connection that has been coming through? Yeah. Oh, now they want to come in with an offer of love, something traditional. Tell me more. Yeah. We yeah, They want commitment with you now. But see, this person, you may be dealing with a narc, though, guys, or somebody that was living in like they have. They were either attached, attached to a superficial relationship, or they were living in an illusion. But I do see the divine is intervening here, and it says sacrifice. Yeah, with the hanged man, somebody is maybe making a sacrifice and ready to move on from something here. It says a difficult decision, aligning priorities, must give up something to win. Yeah, they can't have you in whatever this is. 
what is it that they're giving up, Spirit? What is it that they're, they need to move away from? Or what is this coming to an end? The Twin Flame? What about the Twin Flame? Anger and resentment. What? What is that? What is what does they have to get? What are they having to give up? Out, yeah, these out if they want these outside, yeah, there's there's a twin flame connection here. And then I saw this card when I was shuffling. There's somebody here who they, they have external factors. Others affecting outcome, listening to other people's opinions. Yeah. Why is um negative emotions here? The final, yeah, all or nothing. What does negative emotions mean for this person? What is negative emotions? Open, yeah, they gotta like let go of like how they were wronged by their exes. Like there is a there is this connection here, but like they need to heal from the past. You see how this heart has a band aid on it? They need to heal from their past, their past relationships, their childhood, whatever it is. If they want another chance with you, they got to come in all or nothing um, and not playing games with you. So it says opening their heart, healing old emotional pain, preparing for new love. Maybe this is something that you both needed to do. Because we do have a mirroring. Yeah. What did I just say? Let go of sacred cycles. Let go of the old. Honor the cycle you are in. What goes around comes around. They maybe have some karma to reap here. Yeah, they're definitely afraid of losing you. Don't want to share you, protective of you. This person may feel like they want to, um, they're definitely watching you, lurking. I don't know. What is this friendship card? What is friendship? They may even want to just try to be friends with you for the time being. No, see, what is this? They maybe have toxic friends or they have a friends with, I don't know obsession codependency the devil's domain proper offering what's that have to do with my collective yeah you're setting boundaries they wanted to have like just be friends with you or have be friends with benefits with you or keep something more like more casual with you yeah that's coming to an end you're no longer entertaining that but it says you're setting an example the light of their life, setting strong boundaries. And yeah, you're only you're only accepting proper offerings, not friends with benefits, not them playing games with you, not them not taking you seriously, not them not knowing what the hell they want. Yeah, they were definitely holding back from you. Mm -hmm. Holding, they played themselves because we have infinite abundance, prosperous life, unexpected windfalls, knowing your, yeah, this is you guys. Knowing your worth, you could be starting to hold back from this person now because they're playing games with you and you're opening up to the possibility of new connections coming in. And you, I see things going very well for you. You may be focusing on your children, inner child healing here. Yeah, I feel like it may be tempting. This person may come towards you and it may be tempting to maybe engage with this person again, but they need to clean up their life if they want to be with you and they need to come towards you, correct? Stop settling, okay? Um, let's see, where are we at time-wise? 24 minutes. I'm going to draw a few of these and then I'm going to take it over. I think I am going to extend this because I want to see more what's going on here. We have fairy tale. Mm. They think this kind of love only happens in fairy tale stories because to them, you are too perfect to believe it's true. We have potential. They're deep in their thoughts about you, realizing their distractions, those outside influences, prevented them from seeing the potential in you. We have divine intervention, which I just already, I mentioned that just a few minutes ago. They are experiencing many towers. Yeah, it could be you leaving them and other things. They, like, things con they have a lot of conflict. They got a lot of shit going on right now. They are experiencing many tower moments in their life where it's helped them gain clarity on this connection. Yeah, we have dealt a bad hand. They wish they'd met you in a different time because they feel they'll never get to see what the connection could have been. Let's do one more. Past life. It says their soul recognized your soul from the moment they met you. They knew you were the one they'd been waiting for. So yeah, this person's about to go into the dark night of the soul. I already saw that in another deck as well. Or it's, they're just, they're in the, they're in, that's what I'm feeling like. They're, they're in a lot of massive upheaval right now. Like their whole world is being turned upside down right now. They're experiencing massive upheaval to help them align, yeah, with new levels of love with themselves and the connection. 
Because, yeah, this person's been stuck. Or you guys were, you guys keep repeating a cycle with this person. They keep repeating the same mistakes. Whatever it is, it says a pattern has become familiar to them. And they are wanting to break free from the same loop they keep repeating. Yeah, there's this energy of this person sending you mixed signals. But, yeah, this is how they really feel about you. Insatiable. They have an insatiable thirst. A thirst that no one else but you can satisfy. Craving you more and more. I'm telling you, they're feeling very drawn to you. Yeah, and it says taking aim. They have stepped into their power. I don't know if this is right now, but this is what's going to be happening going in sometime in going forward. They have stepped into their power and taking action towards you. They will not miss their mark this time. Yeah, and then we have permanent mark. You left a permanent mark on their heart. They can't that can't be erased. Even if they tried, you will always be remembered. This person is definitely watching you. Yeah, they feel like you're very mysterious. They can't get a good read on what's going on with you. They are secretly snooping around and asking friends about you in order to see if you're dating someone new. And we have mysterious one. The mystery of you intrigues them. You keep them guessing and engaged very different from the rest. All right, we already had that come out. They feel like you're a unicorn. They feel like they'll, you're irreplaceable. They won't ever find another you. You're different from anyone that they've ever been with. You've shown them something very different. 